This is a Mark Reviews place that's a little bit out of character. For one, I don't normally wear sunglasses. I have almost never worn a hat in any of these videos. Um, but we are on a work off site, which means that we're kind of just getting together and doing something fun. And uh, we are in kind of mid Salt Lake, South Salt Lake. I'm not super familiar with the area, but we are right by Smith's Ballpark over here, home of the Salt Lake Bees. And uh, really, probably the closest restaurant to that area is this place called Lucky 13. Uh, this is a bar. I don't know if they even advertise as a sports bar. It's just truly a bar uh, that also serves food, so lunch and dinner, etc. We went in, I tried the, uh, the smoked bacon cheeseburger, and then I upgraded my normal French fries to a garlic rosemary fries. Um, overall, I was pretty pleased. The price point seemed awesome compared to some of these food trucks I've been reviewing recently. Um, $8.50 for a burger and the fries for an extra buck. So, uh, you know, all told with tip, etc. I'm out of there for less than $12. So, uh, pretty great compared to food trucks, but that is kind of a low standard when it comes to cost effectiveness for your food. Um, I, I would say a couple of comments on the food itself. The, the lettuce on the burger was kind of the, the spring greens mix type lettuce, so um, smaller pieces that you know, could fall out of the burger. It was pretty greasy. It was, it was a bacon cheeseburger, so there were strips of bacon and uh, kind of a thick patty. And it was the kind that as you hold it you know, vertically like this, the, the grease is dripping out the bottom and filling up the wax paper in your basket. Um, that being said, it was really good. A lot of places say that a smoked burger is smoked without it actually tasting like it's smoked. And, and the only way that it's technically smoked perhaps is with the sauce that they add to it, like a barbecue sauce. This one, the meat had a smoky flavor to it and I thought it was phenomenal. Um, I did try the, the rosemary garlic fries, like I said. A little underwhelming um, in my opinion, so the garlic was kind of more of a paste instead of uh, like a garlic salt or something and it kind of that meant there were kind of clumps of garlic uh, that that i was eating that were stuck to the fries and it made them a little bit soggy so execution on the rosemary garlic fries could have been better as i'm talking i can taste and even smell the garlic so a lot of garlic in them um tasted good though uh bacon was great so you know for what it's worth uh, for the price that you're paying, I think it's it's a good value for your money. Uh, it was a good burger, generous portion of meat, you know, nice and thick, and I'm really full now, and that's all I had. Um, I did also try the onion rings that a friend of mine, Dan, got. And uh, Dan's onion rings were the beer-battered onion rings. Again, a lot of places you go, they'll say that their, their fries or their onion rings are beer-battered and there's no flavor of beer. This one there was, and I don't drink and I try to avoid alcohol and even soda uh, in most cases, but I know what beer smells like and it tasted just like that. So um, maybe that's a good thing for you, maybe it's not. These beer battered onion rings, you know, again, a little bit soggy. Um, I like more of a panko breading on them and this was just kind of the traditional old school breading. Um, so not the best onion rings that I've had, but um, overall, that's maybe a good summary. Not the best food I've ever had, uh, but that's not what they specialize in. This is a bar, right? Um, you will be carded at the door. You have to be 21 or older to go inside. Um, pretty much everybody there other than me was drinking some kind of alcohol. And that's fine. If you're okay with that environment, I have no issue with it, really. I can go there with my friends and I don't have to drink, right? So um, come check them out if you're in the area. If this is kind of your style. Uh, one warning and caveat is that I heard from several people that this place gets crazy at night, maybe for a lack of better options. Um, it gets to a point where it's kind of standing room only and, and it's a little bit um, hard to get your order. It's really loud. And then outside in this area is not the most friendly area at night. Um, just right out here, uh, just west of Smith's Ballpark once again. So. Uh, Check them out if you're interested. Lucky 13 bar, um, grill, restaurant. Yes, all of the above. Okay, subscribe to this channel over here. I'd really appreciate it. And then uh, check out some of these other videos that I have made on this channel. You're sure to find something that you like. Thanks.